Introducing Pace, a Defender of Freedom. The Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe, or PACE, is Europe's consulting body dedicated to upholding human rights. Founded in 1949, PACE serves as a watchdog for democratic principles. It advocates for freedom of expression and a free press. It monitors member states to ensure they respect these rights. Its declaration on Julian Assange has now sparked a serious debate about press freedom. This highlights its commitment to defending those who expose wrongdoing. PACE made its position clear. For years, Julian Assange had been treated as a political prisoner. His detention and prosecution were, in their judgment, politically motivated. PACE argues his treatment was disproportionate. They maintain his work is journalism. Labelling Assange a political prisoner sends a strong message to Europe, to the United States and to the world. Governments should not be permitted to silence journalists. Unsurprisingly, Pace's stance has drawn both praise and criticism. Assange's case has sent shockwaves through the world of journalism. Many of his defenders over the past decade have insisted that his prosecution under the Espionage Act was designed to have a chilling effect on press freedom. If journalists fear prosecution for publishing leaked information that reveals government wrongdoing and even war crimes, they will be discouraged from pursuing such stories. The world of journalism is already in a state of crisis due to the very structure of the business of journalism. Stifling whistleblowers could sound the death knell for investigative journalism. In this particular case, a whistleblower, Chelsea Manning, and a journalist, Julian Assange, were both subjected to serious abuse by a legal system intent on sending a message to truth-tellers. Shut up or be prepared for jail time. Pace quite logically concluded that the potential chilling effect of Assange's case poses a significant threat to transparency and accountability, two essential components of any healthy democracy. In response to the concerns surrounding Assange's case, PACE has issued a series of recommendations. They urge member states to protect journalists and whistleblowers from legal threats and intimidation. Addressing the United States specifically, PACE advocates for reforms to the 1917 Espionage Act, arguing that it should not be used to criminalize journalistic activities. PACE also calls for greater transparency and accountability from governments. They emphasize the importance of protecting sources and ensuring that journalists can work without fear of reprisal. If implemented, these recommendations could offer greater safeguards for those who expose wrongdoing. There remains a big question. Will governments, increasingly intent on branding as disinformation, any truth they don't want people to hear, heed this call or simply ignore it? The uncertain fate of whistleblowers. Pace's recognition of Assange as a political prisoner and their call for reforms offer hope for whistleblowers. Their stance suggests a growing awareness of protecting those who expose wrongdoing. However, the long-term impact remains uncertain. Whether it will translate into legal changes and provide protection for whistleblowers is yet to be seen. The global community must pressure governments to safeguard press freedom and defend the rights of journalists and whistleblowers. The future of investigative journalism and the public's right to know depend on it. Only through sustained effort and vigilance can we ensure that those who speak truth to power are protected and not punished for their actions. Join the conversation at Fair Observer and subscribe to our YouTube channel.